So Melanie will take on all of Jared's marketing duties, Gwen will cover biz dev, and that should take care of it. Does this scan to you? I can see it. Okay, great. Okay, back to work. Uh, Bertram, while I have you? You don't have me. Richard's just tasked me with streamlining productivity and balancing headcount. Can you explain to me why you have no one working under you? Just seems odd considering that the Agile board is showing that you have a massive backlog. You're new here, so I'll forgive the patronizing tone. I'm more concerned with being right than being fast, and I don't like dealing with people. To wit, are we done? Oh, you're that guy. What guy, exactly? The brooding, arrogant guy who refuses to take orders? Self-taught coder who looks down on anyone who's taken a class? You're probably an atheist or something more contrarian. You claim to be an anarcho-capitalist, but you work here and pay taxes. You've probably read half of Neil Stevenson's Cryptonomicon, and it's about 50-50 whether you own a snake. His girlfriend owns a snake. I finished Cryptonomicon, and you easily could have just looked in my file. I didn't need to. I'm assigning you five coders. Inadvisable. Noted. I'll send them over first thing tomorrow. If you're going to throw five randoms under me, at least let me pick my team. Fair enough. Good. Mr. Guilfoyle. Yes, ma'am? Is this your new team? It is. Five people, as you requested. That man over there? Ken. Isn't he the coffee guy? Barista, yes. And Joyce was watering the plants. Mona was working security. Dan and George, they were painting the lobby. Until today. Which reminds me, they all need to change their LinkedIn status to placators of middle management. I'll be honest, this is sort of a first. And here you thought I was just that guy. You know, Mr. Guilfoyle, you're right. You're not that guy. Because at the seven companies I've helped take public, every other that guy accepted their limitations, took on a team, and managed to get their work done. Some of them are now billionaires. None of them would have gotten into a dick measuring contest with HR when they were two weeks behind. So lucky us. I guess you're unique. You know, Guilford, when I first heard the phrase dick measuring contest, I thought it was a contest to see who could measure the most dicks. But it isn't, is it, Guilfoyle? Mr. Guilfoyle, you wanted to see me before I left? Yes, Tracy, I did. I wanted you to be here when I pushed my entire backlog of code. You finished all of it in just 24 hours? I did, all by myself. I'll take that apology now. Mr. Guilfoyle, you said that I had to choose. You said I could have it fast or I could have it right. But I just got it fast and right. And all I had to do was threaten your manhood by assigning you other coders. It worked at seven other companies and it obviously worked here. We're back on schedule. Now, why would I be sorry about that? I respect your skills. Thank you. See you in the morning.